It's time for Lent. And as we head into this season of reflection and penitence and practices, uh, we wanted to make sure that we supported you in those efforts. And so one of the things that hopefully you got an email about is this kind of menu of options that might help you to think through what you want to do this Lent as you work to draw closer to Jesus. So we've mapped out two different kinds of paths for you as we think about moving through the way of wisdom and the way of love. There are things that you might want to pick up, some practices that you might want to add to your way of being and doing in this world. And then there are the things that you might want to give up, to put down, to set aside for a time, because that might actually give you the space and time and energy to try something different. So if you look inside our candidate menu, there are several options on this page. And then there are ways that you can give, think about giving, to the One Great Hour of Sharing special offering that we do yearly. Um, we have for you both envelopes and the ever popular fish bank that you can put together so that you might um, intentionally set aside some of what God has provided to you to help others in this time. And then we also want to provide for you the annual Linton devotional readings that the Greater Slope Ministerial Alliance puts together. Um, it's a lot of pages. And so while we've sent out the electronic copy, we know that if you want to use this, you probably want a paper version. So we have some of these printed up at the church. What I would love to invite you to do is stop by either during regular church hours or you can come by on Sunday the 14th because I love you so much. On Valentine's Day, I will be here uh, from about 12 to 2 um, to hand out these packets and uh, greet you, pray with you, uh, remind you how much God loves you. I'll also be here from 12 to 2 on Ash Wednesday. If part of your practice will be to receive ashes, we'll make sure that we have our Ash Wednesday service posted that morning. You can watch before and then come by here. I'll be masked and have my ashes, and I'll just ask you to drive up by the fellowship hall, roll down your windows, keep your mask on, and we will do the um, imposition of ashes that way. So many, many ways that we can engage the word, we can engage each other, and we can engage in service during this Lenten period. And so I hope that you will find ways that enliven your spirit.